Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. And before I talk about today's wine, I want you to know that tomorrow is the Spanish episode. A lot of people are email, emailing me and they're coming in hard. So I want you to know that tomorrow is the episode that everybody's been waiting for. So, today, one wine, very special wine from South Africa. We haven't done a lot of wines from South Africa, but this wine from Stellenbosch, which is one of the premier areas, the Dornier Donatus White, is a wine that deserves its own episode. I uh, first had this wine a couple months ago. I was blown away. It was a 2003 vintage. This is the 2004 vintage, and it's a wonderful blend of Chenin Blanc, Semillon, and Sauvignon Blanc. Three white wines. With the weather getting better, everybody's going to be drinking white wine. Obviously, today in New Jersey, it's pouring like crazy, so it's not a great day to drink this wine. But again, this is the kind of wine that we see a lot of people's palates going to. Everybody's a little tired of Chardonnay and the same old thing. And this kind of wine gives an alternative to that. It goes great with food. This is great with shellfish or salads or anything different like that. And it really gives you an opportunity to try different flavors. So let's try it. Really, you know, interesting golden pale color. Um, the Chenin Blanc is 56% of this blend, so it's the dominant grape. Let's see what's going on in the nose. A little bit of an oaky nose. It's it's in French. It's got four or six months in French oak. I know they do that. The uh, owner, Chris Donier, is a very famous painter in South Africa, and the winemaker J J C Stein is one of the really up and coming nice winemakers in all of in Africa, South Africa. Really complex apple fruit on the finish. Has a lot of acidity. The Sauvignon Blanc is coming through on the nose, and the Chenin is really lively. What I really like about this is it's got a very green apple kind of aspect to it, but it's not too over the top. There's very little fruit, not a lot of sugar at all. It's really more of a complex white wine. This would go really well with shellfish especially because the acidity will cut through a lot of the seafood aspects. Mm -hmm. It's got a dominant flavor of apple. So if you enjoy apple, apple picking or anything to do with apples, maybe like an apple laptop, this is your wine. But more importantly, what this shows me is the complexity of the wines from South Africa are just growing. I'm blown away by the aromas. The, the finish is really long. It's still coming as I'm talking to you right now. It's the kind of wine that you want to drink by, your, by itself because it brings that much to the table. But with food, this will enhance any Thai dish, Chinese food, again, shellfish or salads. South Africa is on the rise. The wines from this area in Stellenbosch, especially white wines, are really tremendous. And this is something that I think you should seek out. We'll see you next time on Library TV.